What I'm going to be talking about today are about people who are very important. Very, very important. I would dare put another V in front of the VVIP. Triple VIPs in our culture. Who am I talking about? Grandma and Grandpa. Your grandparents. Q-Tip time everyone, it's me, Hamid Al-Ammari, and I am back with another episode of Q-Tips. Today I'm going to be talking about grandparents. What do Qataris call their grandparents? Grandma. Papa. Granny. Grandfather. How do you go, yo, Grandma? Oi, Nan, here's a cup of tea. Pop the kettle on. I'm coming now, yeah. What? You want a flake? I've got no flakes, I've got a double decker. You want a double decker? What are you going on about? What are you on about? Are you out of your mind? So how do we call, or what do we call, our grandparents. Let's start with the grandmother. Grandmother. Grandma. Grandma. The way I refer to my grandmother is Yediti, which is my grandmother. But if I was to talk to her, I would say Yedede. 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 I love you. I love you, Grandma. I love you, Grandma. We love you, Grandma. But if I would talk about or moan about someone who, if I was going to have a harder infliction, if I was angry, it would be Yediti. Yachi a ditty man. <laughs> Got my grandmother, man. She drives me crazy. She drives me crazy. You're mad at her? So we have ya ditty, which means my grandmother, or ya dede when I'm addressing them. Or how do you say the grandmother, or a grandmother, or il yedde, the grandmother. See? Il yedde. Very easy. So simple. So simple. Il yedde. Easy peasy. It's simple. It's wicked easy. Other Qataris would say jedde. Jedditi, the J becomes a Y and it's Yedda. Jedditi, Yedditi. Huh? You see what I'm doing there? Jasim, Yasim. No, don't do that. Don't do that. We're not there yet. <laughs> you think this is a joke? What is so funny? Stop playing. Aye! Some would refer to them as Mama Oda or Mama Al Oda or Ummi Al Oda, which means my old mother. So it's, they're very close to their grandmother. They see her as a mother, so they call her Mama Oda. Mama Oda. Oh, grand mother. See how this is poetic in Arabic. It's so, it's such a rich language. <laughs> so fancy. A bit posh, isn't it? Sounds a little hoity toity. So, what do we call our grandfather? Same thing. Yeddi, if I want to refer to him. Yeddi, my grandfather. Baba Oud, old father. And because it's male and. Man. A real man. A real man. He's a tough guy. When you want to talk to him, Yeddi. You remember? Yedid. Yeddi. It's the hand we were dealt, okay? It's, what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? You gotta roll with it, kid. It is what it is. But it's also the same thing. You have Yeddi, Jeddi. How do you call them or say the grandfather? Iliet o il jed. But what's more commonly news is Baba Oud or Yeddi. Baba Oud. Big father. Big daddy. Big daddy. Big daddy is calling. Some people say yuba, which is the same thing as father. So I go to my dad and I say yuba. And then I go to my grandfather who was sitting there. I go yuba. So it's quite confusing. Sometimes I do it just for the sake of it. I sit there. They're both sitting in the room and I go yuba. And they both look up. <laughs> I'm easily amused people. He's a simple man. He's just a child and he's easily impressed. King Doofus of Doofus Island. If you haven't seen our episode about older people, go through the 700 videos. How many videos have we done now? 150? Go through one of them. Tim, please, the American dude behind the camera. <laughs> put it up there for them. It's the old one we talk about elderly. The elderly in, in our society. Part of our culture is to respect the elders. You have to show respect to your elders. Respect your elders as you should. Don't make me make you. They're older than you. We have a saying in Arabic. If he's older than you by a day, he has the wisdom of a year over you. So imagine if someone is 40 years older than you. That means he has 12,000 years of wisdom. Oh my Lord, respect your elders. Inshallah. At the end of the day, if they're older than you, treat them with respect. They've been through life longer than you have. So you have no idea what they've been through, what their story is. Treat them with a little respect. So I hope you like this Q-tip. If you have any other questions about Qatari culture, ask them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff and press the button because that way you know that we're back. I really need to visit my grandmother. 
because I'm a terrible grandson and I haven't visited her in a long time. So this hopefully is one way of telling her in an immortal sense, I'm sorry. Yeah, Ditti, I'm I swear to God, I'm gonna visit you. I'm sorry.